the writer's strike is over so I can talk about Ahsoka. In fact, I've been saving up a lot of thoughts and general nerd excitement. In no particular order, order first off, I uh, was raised Catholic and by Catholic monks at that. And the Jedi were my boyhood archetype of like wisdom and authority. And so to see female characters portraying Jedi and have them be just as badass, just as wise, and just as powerful, um, it's doing things to my little brain. And they have strong relationships. All the women have strong relationships with each other and they communicate with each other well. They support each other and they're nuanced about each other's storied complex history. One of my favorite videos ever on the entire internet is called The Case Against the Jedi by pop culture detective Jonathan McIntosh on YouTube. It explains that part of what is wrong with the Jedi is that they, they force literal like children, Anakin is a child, to be like, hey, just don't feel like you miss your mom. Don't feel negative emotions about people that you love dying. Just don't feel negative things. That's the way to do things. And as a child, I ate that sh up. I internalized that. I was like, oh, if I want to be a strong, wise, powerful adult, then I have to just not feel stuff. And that is probably a terrible emotional model. Uh, and Pop Culture Detective explains to me. And Ahsoka is modeling a better version for the next generation. And I should also say minor spoilers for like episode four from here on out or episode five, I can't remember, the scene with Anakin. Oh my god, the philosopher in me who has tried tried to formulate a post-postmodern way of understanding the world, I was losing my shit. Nerdier people than me can verify this in the comments, but it seems to me that they are developing the gray Jedi concept of like, you gotta be mostly light, but if you want to survive, you need a little bit of the dark. And I was writing a whole video in my head about how the laws of ethics, of morals, change in times of war to a degree, right? The general, a general can send um, a squadron of people off to die. It would not be permissible to do that in non-war times. So in states of survival, it's reasonable to sort of embrace a little bit of the dark side in order to survive, which Anakin like just freaking says and does. And but I had a much more important realization that comes from uh, w when I was in high school reading uh, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. If you're not familiar with the story, Huck Finn is traveling down the river with someone who was enslaved. And he's having an ethical dilemma in his head because he thinks that he's stealing. <laughs> he's like, I can't return this guy because he's property. So I'm stealing, which is bad. You're not supposed to steal. And his conscience is telling him, but I also shouldn't, I shouldn't return him to that horrible state because that would also be bad. Which one do I pick? I'll go to hell, he says. I said that really fast. Uh, I was trying to get it into three minutes. I'm gonna go over, sorry, oops. Um, he is battling, his conscience is battling his sense of rules that he was raised on. And this is where the metaphor, the idea of like having a little bit of the dark side in you absolutely changed my perspective. Obviously, and by definition, you don't want to do evil things. The idea of like have both the light and the dark kind of doesn't work if depending on which definition of evil that you're using. But if you think this way, it changes. The people that teach you the rules are morally flawed. And in order to make moral progress, at times we must rebel against the existing power structure. In doing that, we are doing something like Huck Finn. We have to occasionally do things that feel like they're against the rules because they are against the rules because we're developing the rules. If it weren't for people pushing against the limits of morality, we wouldn't make progress.